You keep paying cornbread, you're gonna make me hungry back here. Hey, uh, hello to you there, Radio Man 445. I'm gonna try to wave at you if I can. Hey, uh, Radio Man 445, Fireball's waving at you. Waving right back there, Fireball. Doing a real good job out there, man. There's just, uh, man, a lot of big stations out there. Hey, they all pumping up. Hey, Fireball, they all pumping up, 10 -4. Dan Roger on that, man. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of big stations out here today. Uh, kind of big and low budget been out here trying to get up on me. But I've been holding my own. Hey, 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 Radio Man 445, I've been holding my own there. 410? Oh, yeah, 410, 410, oh, yeah, man. Hey, uh, uh you up there, uh, man, you up, you're the king out there. Hey, hey, Bob, you're the king out there, Kimbo. I got that cornbread. I, those crumbs are all over my bed. Uh, 445 is holding the QSO with uh, the religious stepchild right now, man. I told him he can find my uh, my reflect under his bed. Hey, uh, Eugene Johnson. There's just a lot of people out here, man. Hey, 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 Eugene Johnson in the hog yard. There's just a whole lot of people out here. You said, uh, let me get out of here. Nobody can hear me. Not burning electricity. <laughs> you get all up in my radio. Hello to you, Eugene Johnson. I'm going to wave a hand and say hello to you around the hog yard. Eugene Johnson, fireball waving at you. Hey, fireball. Hey, uh, they said uh, you're the red headed stepchild of the west side. Hey, fireball, they said you're the red headed stepchild of the west side. Right back there, Eugene Sean. So are you doing the best you can with what you got? Man, you still haven't figured out what's going on with that RF deck yet? Hey, uh, Eugene Johnson, you still haven't figured out what's going on with that RF deck yet? Just out to the lady, I saw you, Steak Dogger. How about getting down? Hey, east side, say 169. 169 on the west side, getting up. Hey, you got that 169 on the west side, 445 on the east side, just acknowledging your station, 169. Hey, uh, have a good uh, Monday. Let's go, east side. I know you hear me out there. Mississippi. Hey, uh, it's all good though. 445 on top of this hill. I'm gonna cut your radio smack queen off. Talking to my friend, uh, Snake Doctor. So I'm gonna sit back and read the mail there, Eugene Johnson. I'm not gonna be able to hear you as long as Duck Gunner's on the key. I kicked up to the high side. I kicked uh, this baby up to the high side. 445 on top of this hill on the high side. Well, just make sure you don't. Uh, just make sure you drive uh, drive safely in the rain. And make sure you sing the song. Rain come down, rain come down, please keep raining, don't stop. <laughs> uh, look at that, that's the high side. Oh, hey, fireball, 445 on top of the hill on the high side. Yeah, Doc Hunter, I'm gone. My crayons, man, that's all. It's all about the crayons there, hey, you know, little budget, you said it's all about the colored crayons. Crayons, I'm back quiet. Right about now, right about now, you're hearing 445 on top of the hill back here in Mississippi. We got off the key. I usually get on here, so we just move my reflect down a little bit. But it's still right here. It's right here. 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 Right here.
10 watt reflect right there. 445, so I got 10 watts of reflect right there. Right back where you got no reflect at all in the rain there, Duck Hunter. God damn. Well, maybe it'll stay that way. Hey, uh, hey, 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 Duck Hunter. Maybe it'll stay that way, and maybe you can uh, run a little uh, piece of welding lead out into the middle of the creek. And man, you'll be a serious badass dragging everybody to the curb, having that big old hammer down in the rain. Take care, Duck Hunter. Go pick up the little one, man. Boy, there's a lot of cotton pickers that are trying to get back to me. And you tell old Big Dog I did wave right back. I don't know where he's located, but uh, tell old Big Dog I, I waved at him and he's trying to wave at me. Everybody wants to wave at me. Take care, Duck Hunter. This video gate's all you. I'm gone. Hey, Fireball, I told you he's the king out there. Hey, Fireball, where's your cardboard crown, remember? Hey, uh, back in the last cycle, he had a cardboard crown. The, the Burger King, uh, uh thing, get home. Back scatter before I keep up. Hey, Fireball. Hey, Fireball. Hey, Fireball. Hey, Fireball. Little Watts and some stacked antennas. I'm going to put this duck on and build steel back to the for a little while.
and I knew he was, uh, uh, got to go grab the little one on that end, so I knew he was going to come up in my radio when he left, but boy, he had a hammer down, I'll tell you. He's going to be devastating here in the next few weeks if the rain keeps raining in the bayou there, 410. Yeah, 10 four. Yeah, I, uh, I'm going to let my antenna down and do some work on it. Hey, uh, get it optimized for 28, because uh, you know, I told you, I got it tuned on 19 so I can go back and forth from 6 to 28, but uh, I'm going to have to optimize it for 28 there, 10 four. Yeah, I know. You know, well, well, it's kind of the best of both worlds. I didn't. I mean, I, I didn't change this antenna. I mean, I, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to tune it a little better because it's not actually perfectly tuned for six. But when I do that, I know it'll do better right here. But, uh, yeah, you don't really got to do it that way. You, what, uh, uh, what a lot of people do is they tune it for, like, channel 14. And then they can do both sides. So, yeah. His, he, he made his for 28. He, he, tuned, he tuned his up for, uh, for 28. Uh, he sent me pictures of the uh, analyzer. He, he said it for this channel. Oh, no. Yeah, Dan Yeah, mine's uh, actually real good on channel 11. I have uh, a zero reflect on channel 11. <laughs> I don't know why that is, because I told it on 19 there, Dan Hello. Yeah, I don't really worry. I mean, reflect does help uh, your transmit. You know, of course, you get heat going back and whatever, but... Uh, I don't worry too much about it because I, I don't have heat on my equipment, so they heat up a little bit, but they heat up the way they're supposed to. They don't they don't get hot as crap real fast, so I ain't too worried about it yet. But I know I can I can tune a little better when I get me a scissor lift over here. Yeah, definitely. I'm glad I got a hazer because I can let mine down to almost ground level. You know, I let it down to about six feet. I use my step ladder and uh and uh, get up there and uh, adjust everything, Tim Yeah, I can't do that where I'm sitting. Even even if I even if I had a hazer, I can't do that. I can't come all the way down because I'm above a tree. I got I got two 20 foot trees right here that uh, uh that I put the tower right next to. I could I could have put it out on a different spot, but I did it right next to my house so I didn't have to have a bunch more coax and lose more. Uh, DV game with longer coax, so I just stuck it right here, right next to the house, and and uh, tilted it right up, and I trimmed the tree so I could tilt it up and get the beam all set and everything, and I never had a problem since. But if I want to tune it or do anything with it, I'm gonna I'm gonna need a scissor lift. But I'm gonna start looking for one, like Motor Mouth Mall. He's got a bucket truck. I'm just gonna need a scissor lift. That way I can do what I want with beams or whatever. I'm going to be looking for one here, here in the uh, next uh, few months. Yeah, 10 four. Well, it's supposed to rain the next two or three days, and after that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let my antenna down and uh, work on it there, 10 four. Hey, 10 Raj on that. Hey, uh, you know, if, if, you need, if you need any help or any uh, pointers on that, yeah, man, uh, I'll, uh, I'll hook you up with Disco Duck. He might be able to help you with your beam. Yeah, I, uh, I text them once in a while, uh, back and forth. I, I text them, uh, their tempo. Yeah, 10 Raj on that. Yeah, because uh, he's, he's been helping the uh, old uh, Mosquito Man out out there around the hog yard. Actually, they're building a new one. Uh, they're, they're going with a, a longer one. Uh, they're getting rid of the three element. They're going with something way different. Team low budget, big Yeah, 10 four. Yeah, I just uh, wish my back door was a little bit more closed. Um, my back door, I got about a five-foot back door, and I probably need like a seven-foot back door, because uh, I got too much coming in my back door. Okay, uh, well, where you live, yeah, you probably need better rejection. We, I don't need it because uh, I just point east, and I don't have anything west, so I, I really don't have to hear anybody, but... uh. Yeah, you might need a little bit more better rejection so you, so you don't get a bunch of uh, people coming behind you and you can't hear the skip that's coming in front of your antenna. Well, I was just thinking maybe it helped my forward game. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to try. I'm going to uh, make the back door bigger and see if it helps my forward game there, Devil. Ten Raj on that. 
Raj on that. Tim Raj on that there, uh, wild child. You said, you said that means that uh, uh, Radio Man 445's got people too damn close. Actually, I think Radio Man 445 lives on a hill. He lives on a little uh, uh, mountaintop, whatever mountaintops are in Mississippi, but he lives on one. So he probably hears everybody. Thanks for letting me know. Yeah, when I first moved up here, I put up a ground plane. And man, I was getting Jamaica and uh, Bermuda, all them in there real good. And uh, I didn't used to. I said, man, that's good to receive up here. Tested. It works real good. That's why I'm not too. Uh, that's why I'm glad where I live. I mean, I can hear low budgets backscatter. I don't know how. I mean, he lives in like Mojave Desert or high desert or something. He lives way far away. He lives like 200 miles away. But I, I can hear him. Uh, and Snake Doctor, I'm pointed that way, but I only hear the backside of his beam, so uh, he doesn't really bother me too much. He gives me about three S units. But uh, I heard Mopar in there. Hey, Mopar, I can't point northeast or whatever on that, and this antenna doesn't really do that. I have a four element beam and the, and the, and the uh, the uh, whatever they call it is wide as 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 wide, man. I don't if I point if I point 60 degrees, which is towards uh, 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 Michigan, or if I point towards down uh, the bottom of Georgia, doesn't even make that much of a difference. I still got that mile down from Boston to Austin, Spain to Maine, and Aruba to Cuba. They're breaking.